Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on Seatopia. Make sure you're leaving a like, leaving a comment, leave something letting me know if you're enjoying Planet Coaster and want to see more in the future. Add in some cypress trees to the outside of our little Mediterranean village here because someone commented, hey, that's a good idea, you should do that. I was like, wow, I don't know why I didn't think of that. So we did. Toss them in there. Another viewer suggestion was to add a little waterfall by the loop. So went ahead and added that. And then... Uh, a lot of good ideas for com or names for the coaster and things. We end up going with uh, Adi uh, Andiamo. Andiamo. Apparently, it's Let's Go in Italian, and I just thought that sounded cool. Some other good ones that got voted up pretty high were like Tuscan Tumble things like that. But since it's not directly inspired by anything like Tuscany or anything, I didn't want to uh, name it after that. So that's the general idea there. So we just add a little finishing touches to the Mediterranean village area, and it's looking rather nice. Over here, we're working on a brand new coaster. That's what the majority of this episode is going to be. This coaster, its area. We added another flat ride as well. But this is going to be a launch coaster, and the whole area is going to be kind of modeled after, like, a top-secret Air Force base. So it's kind of like an experimental plane idea here. Is that what we're going for? Kind of. Something like that. I had a lot of trouble with this coaster because it's it gets way too intense. You'll see me uh, try and tinker with the ratings. I love watching the coaster, but I kind of freak out like that. It goes up and then falls back down. But we kept getting some way... Way too intense ratings on this coaster that no one was actually riding it, so I kind of had to mess with it quite a bit to get it where I wanted to. Uh, we end up doing this huge hill right after this launch. I mean, it gets up to like 100 miles an hour, and then we end up doing a second hill and some more inversions and things like that, but it's just... Uh, people didn't like it. It was a little bit too intense for them. I like the orange color now. We end up changing the black, but this orange is pretty cool. Maybe we'll do like an orange coaster or something some other time. Trying to take some more feedback for you guys. So the up like this, I was realizing this is way too high off the ground. I don't think it looks very good. Uh, unless it's like a specific bunny hill or something. I don't think it should be that high off the ground based off of what I've seen here as feedback. So we end up tearing that out and just bringing it uh, one big turn over here and then adding a second hill. Oh, if you can call this a hill, it's a big ass thing. Uh, we end up doing like this twister hill thing. Let's see where it is. At some point we find it. There we go. Uh, we end up removing that because it does add a little bit too much to fear and excitement in this coaster. Uh, these people in my park are a bunch of wusses, man. The end result coaster is alright. I think it's pretty good, but they're like, no, it's just scary. We don't like it. So I'm like, fine, screw you. We end up having to tear out quite a bit of it and just redo it, unfortunately. But the end result is still pretty cool. Uh, we end up doing no inversions on it because the inversions were just... It was just making it too intense. Uh, with the because the thing is super fast so the high speed plus the inversions was just freaking people out a little bit too much so we ended up taking another inversion so I'm okay with because since it is supposed to be like modeled after like an airplane ride or something I think it's just a nice big soaring swooping coaster we do something cool later over the runway where I kind of make it swoop left and right kind of like an airplane going whoop 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 if you can uh, imagine what I'm doing with my hands right there <laughs> it can't because I don't use face cam in Planet Coaster I don't think it's necessary would have been useful for time like that but whatever so yeah, so don't mind all this. This is all temporary. <laughs> we have changed it quite a bit. I did like the uh, two kind of inverted loops and then the corkscrews, but that's eh, okay. We'll do another coaster in the future with a lot of inversions and things like that. We even got a loop in the other coaster, so we're good there. Uh, just kind of adjusting this, trying to bring it down a little bit, and then adjusting the speed of the actual launchers because it was going way too fast. So, <laughs> oh, my coasters bumped into each other. My bad. There they go. Any day now. Just want to get over that get over that hump. There we go. Okay, made it. Good job. They are pretty well timed right there, but they're never going to launch that fast or in, in quick succession just because people don't get on them that quickly. So it's only when you test the coaster you'll be able to see that. Originally made it blue to start kind of like the sky. Uh, we end up changing it to just black. Uh, basically, this whole area is just kind of black colored. <laughs> just trying to make it like a, like, a, like a stealth plane or something. Something cool like that. Uh, starting to work on a runway over here. Just trying to get it seem like there's a runway going straight out of this area. So you just launch the coaster on the runway. And I think it comes up pretty, pretty cool looking. Just filling it in there. Then we gotta turn some of them white to kind of be like the painted dotted lines on a runway. There we go. I think it came out pretty cool looking. We're gonna add a bunch of hangers and stuff like that. I love it. There we go. Changing that to black. Left the <laughs> left part of it blue. Don't worry, we'll change that to black too. The whole thing's gonna be in black. How about that? Originally was gonna start working on the coaster bay area, then decided, eh, I don't really know what I wanted to do with it yet, so we decided just to kind of fill in the bottom with some metal. Oh, and then I realized the coasters weren't actually making it to the end, they were kind of bumping into each other. Again, basically after the second second drop, 
we're gonna change all this, so don't worry if you don't like it right now. It'll all be changed a lot this episode. So we got a lot of tinkering to do. Mm, excuse me. You gotta keep drinking water. It's early in the morning. I was streaming a lot last night and oh, my, uh, my throat got real sore. I don't know, I did record a bit yesterday. Uh, not too much. Oh well. Uh, some people were asking about the music in the last episode. I'm starting to use the actual Planet Coaster um, soundtrack. Uh, which came with a Thrill Seeker edition, so... Uh, yeah, this song's cool. This one is called You, Me, and Gravity. Off of the uh, Planet Coaster soundtrack. I forgot what the name of the song was last episode. Actually, I might be able to check it right now. It was... Uh, Theories of an Eager Heart. So the whole thing is on Spotify if you want to check it out. If you just go to Spotify and search Planet Coaster, it'll show up right away. A lot of catchy songs. There's the main jingle. That The main jingle actually has a name. It is called The Light in Us All. That's it. And these are all really cool names. The Light in Us All, Yumi and Gravity, Dream, Build, Repeat, uh, Sink Cat, <laughs> Theme Park After Dark. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of cool names. Heisenberg's Entryway to Matrix Mechanics. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. I love the soundtrack of this game. Uh, over here, we're working on a hangar. Uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of these kind of scattered around the runway. And then I wanted some sort of plane. I didn't want it super alien looking, so I just used a couple parts, made it all black, and tried to make it look like a, like a, maybe like a realistic plane, but nothing. It's kind of hard with these pieces, so <laughs> don't expect too much. It still looks kind of sci-fi. And then I wanted... Uh, the only landing gear we have are like the little legs. Ooh, excuse me, and I wanted landing gear with actual wheels, so I ended up taking one of these little shape pieces, or three of them rather, and then I needed something to support them. I was really having a hard time trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do to kind of support these things. So, okay, you know what? We're just gonna go grab some wood planks, we're gonna color them black, and that'll be good. <laughs> no one's gonna see these up close, so it's okay. You're only gonna see these from far away, so no one's gonna be like, wait, this is a super secret, like, high tech fighter jet being held up by little wooden planks. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, don't, don't don't think about it too much, alright? It's best if you not think about it. Uh, for some reason, this coaster, the coaster cars give off a red light at night. It's pretty cool looking. doesn't really fit this area super well. Um, but oh well. I like this launch coaster. The other, I mean, it's a big wing launch coaster. I mean, that goes perfectly with the area, even though it does give off a red light. Oh, I guess planes have like red and green lights on them, so that's okay. Because the other launch coaster, I believe, is like the race car one, and that wouldn't have worked very well. So I definitely think it's we're better off using the wing coaster, because it is like a big airplane. Then extending the main path around here. I'm trying to figure out a good way to connect it. Uh, the queue's a little short, so we did do a priority pass here. Yeah, I didn't do a priority pass in the last coaster, guys. Uh, one, because I don't really want to. And two, um, there wasn't really any room for it. I'm not going to do a priority pass on every single ride. That's, I don't think it's necessary. Frankly, I think they're kind of ugly sometimes. Looks all right here, but definitely not going to be adding it in every ride. Not necessary. In my humble opinion. And then here I was trying to figure out why did nobody want to ride the ride? Oh yeah, it has a fear and nausea rating of like 18 or something, so... That could do it, you know? People don't like their brains exploding while riding on a roller coaster. Who knew? Who knew? I certainly didn't. I mean, those, those loops are so cool, man. So we had some turn brakes, trying to slow it down a bit. I'm like, no, it's not quite working. Yeah, look at that, all that red. Ugh. I do like that heat map feature. That's really cool. It's something they added in the beta and full release. So it actually shows you the rating based off of fear, excitement, and nausea based off of uh, where it is on the actual coaster. So it makes it a lot easier to adjust. So I was like, okay, we'll just do some cool other stuff before I go and work on that. I do a little bit of off camera just to kind of figure out exactly what I want to do. Over here, I wanted to add some lights to the runway and then have them timed with the coaster. So we had like seven triggers here and time them for as the coaster goes by. So every time it goes by, ones it'll light up. So we just got to add those in real quick. There we go. 550% speed. It's not too fat. It's not too bad. <laughs> it took me a while in game. It was just kind of monotonous, but you guys are watching at 550% speed. So it's a heck of a lot quicker for you guys. So there you go. Woo. Look at that. That's cool. It's not super effective from the point of view of the coaster. Uh, <laughs> I now realize that maybe I'll delay them all a bit. Or no, uh, what's the opposite of delay? Put them closer so you actually people on the coaster can actually see them light up. We'll see. I sh uh, the first person right at the end of the video is at d during the day, so you don't really see them too much. Over here, I wanted just another hangar just kind of popped on over here. 
gonna shorten it a little bit just so we can fit it and at some point to squeeze it in there we actually ended up making it even shorter later on but that's just a nice little time saver just copying a building and then you can split off part of it into its own building so that's a super nice feature they added I like it Add in a nice little floor to the inside here. Uh, these floors, when you kind of peek them above the ground like this, there is a little bit of a bug. If you zoom out really far, they'll kind of get all static looking. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but again, it's only if you're zoomed out really far, so it's not too bad if you're close enough. You'll see me kind of tinker with that a bit. And then we here decided to go with the sycamore trees because they were nice, big, and bushy. So I thought we'd just chuck a bunch around here. Kind of fill in the area a little bit. It's looking all right. The coaster, again, is not finished. Because it's actually open right now, and nobody's coming to it. Nobody likes it. It's way too crazy. Trying to add something here, end up not liking it. I was like, eh, no, 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 no. Tear him out. I hate it. I hate it so much. Not really so much, but you know what I mean. Uh, taking a little plane, bringing it over here. Chucking it up there. Just to, uh, I don't know, kind of cap off the top a little bit. Nice little picture there. Oh yeah, I do need a name for this coaster, guys, so definitely leave him in the comments below. All that jazz. Adding a flat ride over here. Something nice and pretty. Just uh, going with the airplane one, because again, it's going to be next door to the other airplane ride, so I was like, oh, that kind of fits together nicely. Uh, this queue is a little bit small. We may expand in the future. Uh, it's probably just busier right now, just because it, the park is still relatively small. The queue is probably long enough. It's pretty short, but... Whatever, there's our plane plane. Ha, <laughs> puns. It's not really pun, is that wordplay? I don't know. You tell me, friend. Uh, there we go, chucking some rocks into these guys so they're not floating, because people don't like when I make things float in the game, even if it's in the future. I still I still stand by that my floating cube ride was amazing. You know, I may go copy all that from an old park and bring it over to this park. If, can I even access the Eternity Park anymore? Because it wasn't the alpha. I don't know, I'll check. Because some of the parks I can, some of the parks I can't. It's weird. Maybe I can go upload to the Steam Workshop or something. That'd be sweet. Because I did love that cube ride. That was pretty awesome. That's something I thought about doing was maybe taking some rides from the old parks and bringing them over here. So maybe something for like Middle Earth or ugh, the Marvel Park. Yeah. I, I repressed that memory. I hated that thing. <laughs> Middle Earth or Eternity Park or even Kings Lake. We had some good rides in Kings Lake. That was pretty fun. We could do like a small medieval area in this park because I mean, we do we got a lot of room frankly I'm going to run out of ideas like the park is probably only not even 10% full at this point it is huge now man the maps are massive so just tinkering with this a little bit more changing the speed of the launch coasters and then the height of the first hill just to try and uh, reduce the overall speed of the coaster oh but then they were getting st stuck on the second one there we go hey they made it I love these floofs but they're gonna have to go. Yep. There we go. So I decided to tear them all out. And instead, we're gonna do something what I think is actually pretty cool. So this is the kind of swooping, soaring section uh, over the uh, runway again. So it's kind of acting like a plane where you can imagine it's soaring left to right. So going woo, woo, woo. There we go. Yeah, I think it's way better. That's cool. So we won't have any versions on this coaster because the little wusses in my stupid park can't handle it. They're all just like, man, we don't want to die. We don't want our insides to become liquefied and have our brains fall out of our butts. Because <laughs> that's been known to happen, guys. <laughs> uh, brains fall out of your butts. Oh, that's fun. It's good to clean fun. Not really clean fun. It's kind of disturbing if you think about it. Like your brain just falling out of your butt. Imagine the amount of force needed. Oh. Put, put someone in a centrifuge long enough, lay them down, or maybe their butt will come out of their brain. Only the maturest of talk on C-Top's videos. And yes, he even makes up words like maturest. <laughs> the most mature. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm not, I'm no English speaker. I don't speak English good. It's my second language after all. You know what my first language was? My native language? Baby talk. <laughs> That's everybody's native, native language. <laughs> Oh, I gotta stop doing these long episodes, man. This isn't even a long episode. I'm just running out of things to talk about because we're just tinkering with that coaster so long. So I start making stupid jokes and nobody thinks it's funny. Anyway, there we go. Finished up the coaster. Added a nice little swooping section. Have it go over the hangar and then kind of a nice long loop around back into the coaster bay. Uh, people actually like it now, so they're actually gonna ride the coaster. That makes me happy. They're gonna come on over. They're gonna be, hey, 
This ghost is pretty cool. See, Tom, I'm like, thank you. And then we high five. And then we all eat some chief beef. And then we all go home. Isn't that lovely? There we go. Add a nice little hangar over to the Coaster Bay area. Uh, the metal roofs do look a little bit too, like, rustic for me. Uh, but I think they were the best available ones to use in this section of the park. Uh, the blue metal roofs look... Eh, they don't look super good. I think the metal, these metal ones look okay. They'll do it. They'll, they'll live. They'll, they'll, they'll be fine. I'm only going to cry about it a little bit when I try and fall asleep at night. You know how it is. This coaster keeps freaking breaking down and the dude keeps coming to fix it and he takes forever. Ugh. Oh well. I need some more trees and stuff in here. Not doing a super lot of detail. Um, just because I thought it was good and like the nice clean sleek design doesn't need a lot of detail. And I also gotta remember this is gonna be a massive park so <laughs> I'd rather have more fun making a lot of themes and stuff and exploring the, the what I can build in the park rather than putting 3,000 pieces on one building just because then we won't be able to make a very big park. So that's something I need to keep in mind. Uh, though I haven't really pushed the limits of this park much since the beta and alpha it has been out has been optimized a bit But since this park is gonna be so massive. We will have to keep that in mind Adding some lights to right there. We're basically done with this section Pretty simple just basically a big coaster and then a bunch of sycamore trees <laughs> There we go, and we get to launch. Yeah, you don't even see the lights turning on Because <laughs> we're in daytime, but believe me they are you guys saw them straight up And barely over the hill whoop Hey, I'm just happy people are actually riding it now. It makes me so happy. This little turn here. God, it is, it is very fast. I think it's going like 100 miles an hour at its top speed. Back up the hill. Killed off a little bit of speed. This part's nice and smooth. I do like this. And whoa, whoa. Trying to stop it from just being flat and boring. I think that helped a little bit having those little hills. And here we're just going to kind of soar left to right. Oh, that's cool. Imagine another co coaster launching underneath you. That'd be so cool. Maybe when uh, the coaster gets a little more popular. Not a lot of people in line right now. I'm back over the top there. I need to turn off those supports so they're not peeking through. Eh. That's probably not a big deal. That's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. Make sure you're hitting that like button if you are enjoying Planet Coaster. Want to see more in the future? I'll see you next time. Bye.